Okay, hey everybody. What is up, YouTube fam and weight loss journey peeps? I know, I am so sorry. It has been a super duper long time since I've had any type of update video. And I sincerely apologize because I'm trying to keep you guys up to date on my journey. And that's why I'm doing this quick video, yes, in the car, because that's how busy it has been. Um, a lot of you guys know that I'm a reborn artist, and if you're not a like familiar with that um i make dolls like life like baby dolls and we just at a really really busy time so in addition to work and just everything else that's going on i have you know me and my spouse's small business that we do so um and we just we just been busy um you know latoya surgery is coming up and i know she's going to do a video when she can to update you guys and make some videos as we get prepared for her surgery because her surgery is coming up and i had just been meaning to update you guys because i'm almost well actually no i am today is the 25th right it's either the 26th or the 25th if it's the 26th um i'm officially two months post-op so this is good so now i can actually officially you know kind of update you guys so good um today well actually the yesterday i'm weighing in around i'm like you know plus or minus two um 262 and so i'm about 34 pounds down 30 i'm gonna just say 30 just to round that out um i'm about 30 pounds down um i want it to be more but i'm i am working you guys know the last there was a video i posted when i was telling you guys about the supplements and stuff i have been really really diligent and hardcore on taking these supplements and anti-diuretic and water pills um my body is making is like making a run fight kill for every pound that I try to snatch from its cruel fingers so um when I get to my three month mark that's when I'll be doing update pictures like a skin flick type of thing for you guys so you can see but um yeah I think I told you guys already if you've seen other videos you know when I got surgery by the time I got home I had gained 15 pounds in the hospital so it was kind of like backtracking um which took time to lose that weight too so um it took time but anyway um i've been doing my workout program you guys know i started t25 i've been doing that for a month i have the size program as well latoya bought that for me a while ago um and i've been kind of doing that interspersed and so i'm still walking too guys so this is the thing when i tell you i'm working hard and it's not easy and i really understand other people who are on this weight loss journey i really understand because I got my surgery right even if I wanted to eat no matter what I was eating if I was you know just having a really piss poor diet it wouldn't even matter because I can only eat a portion but I know I don't have a piss poor diet because at my job my job uh we have free lunch my you know the person who owns the company the uh clinical research organization work for they do a salad bar every day so it's super easy for me to have a protein shake or a protein bar and I can only eat half of it for breakfast and, um, and I don't really eat breakfast what I do is I will work out in the morning and then I um, work out again when I get to work at 10 then I have something and then I will eat um, whatever I want from the salad bar mostly cucumbers a little bit of spinach and like tomatoes stuff like that maybe some cheese things like that and I'll have that um, and then I'll have a meal at nighttime, you know, protein, you know, just, you know, a sensible dinner. So even with all of that, though, um, it is a struggle to lose these pounds. So but I feel like I'm on target because more or less um, my doctor told me when I because I was stressing at first. You guys know that I was very stressed at first about my lack of weight loss because so many people are like, oh, I lost 50 pounds my first month or they lose 50 pounds in their first four to six weeks. And I was like, what the heck, what am I doing? Cause I only lost 10, 15 pounds. But um, my doctor, when I had talked back with my surgeon and my support group, they said to give yourself six to eight weeks. And they said, you should lose 30 pounds though. So that's why I was really happy that I kind of reached that mark this past week, because at least at two months post-op, I have lost 34 pounds. So I'm really, really proud of myself for that. But to be honest, you'll see me jump up and down for joy and you'll see me do a cartwheel across this youtube video when i hit my 50 pound mark that's my first small goal for myself um is the 50 pounds and that's just something i want for myself so 
um because then it's closer to 100 you know okay sorry about that i had to back into my parking space <laughs> um i'm about to go to the superstore um i got off work early today because you know it's the memorial day long weekend whoop, whoop. everybody be safe of course but anyway so like i said my 50 pounds down is kind of like my short term short term long goal my interim goal is 100 pounds down um i would love to meet my weight loss goal uh or my weight I don't even know if it's a dream weight or whatever. I have to see if my body even likes that weight. But I would like to get down to like 160. Um, but I really, I want to be realistic. And um, I have to be realistic to my body type and like where my body will like literally just lay naturally. With no, and I, I know that might sound weird, but I am interested to find that out. With no like a vigorous amount of exercise if I'm just active I'm getting 10,000 steps a day you know what I mean I have a very sensible diet I would love to see once I get what down in my weight what does my body do naturally so I'm, I'm always going to try to remain active and stuff like that but it'll be interesting to see but anyway um trying to think of what other updates I can give you guys in this quick video um but yeah so for the working out and stuff like I said I've been doing t25 um and i usually do that in the morning and it's like i said it's just not easy i really understand when people are like on a weight loss journey and they're working out uh because usually you do more than your one workout work out in the morning like 5 a.m like i said when i get to work i take i even put it on my calendar so people will schedule meetings around my time because i have a private scheduled meeting on my calendars at work but it's really time for me to go to the gym because i have a gym at work so which i'm very it's a very it's a blessing um but anyway um because I, I can walk outside and that's how i started i started doing a mile to a, two miles outside but i realized um in a shorter period of time i could do more in the gym so um slowly but surely i was doing like a 20 minute mile then a 15 minute mile and like just this week i got down to like really close like my fastest mile was 10 minutes and 30 seconds so um, I'm about like 11 minute mile now so my goal would be to do a seven minute mile which is like average was supposed to be you know what I mean what a normal person should be able to do if you're fit and active maybe an eight minute mile I should give myself like eight <laughs> anyway um, but I, that's every day for me um, even if I have to double up on a workout in the morning let's say I skip a workout in the morning I never skip out on my walk hardly ever like of course I'm sure there's times where I had to skip it because the meetings are busy day but my friends at work um, I walk with a group of women at work, <clears throat> so it's hard to miss because we're always instant messaging each other around the time we go. So I would encourage people to do that if you're not. I have a really, I have a really good sister who got the same surgery, and we've been texting each other, trying to motivate each other. Get it, girl, because um, she's already lost 20 pounds and she just had her surgery. She's not even that many weeks post-op yet. I think she might be two or three, and um, she was telling me the same thing. She started out walking two miles a day get it girl because once you start increasing the activity weight will come off easier um and you guys know for me i have a metabolic syndrome so um i if anyone's thinking about weight loss surgery my answer my recommendation is always to do it i don't care how old you are if you got to get a permission slip get that joint signed you know if you old young whatever you won't regret it because it's a tool it's not a quick fix scheme and I'm sure you've heard other people talk about that it's a tool that you have to use to lose weight um, the good thing about it though is if you know eating is your problem it's gonna help you I can tell you that right now because I have a metabolic syndrome though I have to put in a lot of work and a lot of people who have hormone issues or anything like that you you already know that struggle but um it's I still recommend it though because I wouldn't have been able to cut out the amount of food that I eat um without it like in terms of like I mean you can I'm not talking about I can't in terms of self-discipline I just mean in terms of like on a day in and day out basis I know <laughs> I'm not eating much my, there's always food left on my plate um like for instance like not too long ago the babe got me like a two-piece dinner from Popeye's or whatever it took me two days to finish it not to mention and I'm gonna tell you this for real to be honest there was still meat on one of the pieces of chicken like she got me like two thighs and like you guys know I can't eat bread so I don't ever eat the biscuit um and I think she got me mashed potatoes because that's something that I've always been able to keep down it took me two days to finish it um like coming home at night to have dinner 
and even the other, the last night that I ate it, there was still meat on the bone. I gave it to the dogs. So it's like, I know I wouldn't have been able to consistently lose this weight in terms of, I'm sorry, keep food on my plate. Like, you know what I mean? Have leftovers and keep my intake of food down without the surgery, without all the mental stress and having to think about it. It's, it's like, I don't have to think about it. So that's what's nice. Cause I know my calorie, in, if I said that right, calorie intake is um, around 800 to 1,000 a day. And that's with work, to be honest. Because um, if I could tell you what I ate today already, I ate half of a protein bar. <laughs> I ate a slice of cheese to get some more protein in. And then um, that's it. I had some tea and juice at work. That's what I had. So, And I split that protein bar in half. I had a quarter of it in the morning. And then I ate the other half when I was like good in time at work after I walked in my mile. So, and I'm sorry guys, I'm rambling, but I'm trying to just give you guys information about what's going on. Cause I know I don't have, I don't have any type of monologue or script for this video. It's just a sh in your face update. So, but okay, good. I've talked to you guys for a good 10, 11 minutes. Um, I will come back on to do a review of the supplements cause the supplements have really, really helped me. I believe so. And if anybody, I know I have a lot of people following my videos who do suffer from metabolic or thyroid or hormone issues. And I found a couple really good supplements that I have found that when I see my body trying to jump back up with water retention or water weight, if I increase my supplement intake, I'll see my body have to come back down. And so I know that taking my, I added, I told you guys, the water pill is a diuretic. I'm taking like turmeric. I'm taking an, something called Indian ginseng. I'm taking a regular ginseng type of pill and a ton of vitamins, vitamin C and B and blah, blah, blah. It's kind of crazy. It's like, you know, vitamin diarrhea, but it's imperative when you're trying to do a journey and trying to get healthier. It helps with the detox and everything. But for me, it's really helping my body be able to let go of the weight um, and not kind of fill back up with water retention because that's a that's a problem for me. I'll find that I'll lose weight, right? And then my body wants to fill up on water for whatever reason. And I'll make a new weight and then all of a sudden I'll be back up. And it's like, I know that's impossible. So... And I realized it was water because my legs were swollen and stuff like that. So if you guys are battling with that, that's something that I'm doing. I don't want to take the diuretics forever, but I am trying to cycle in natural diuretics. That's one thing I'm about to buy for the next week's coming up. Dandelion, I looked online and did some research. Cranberry juice is a diuretic too, of course coffee, but uh, caffeine gives me gas, so I'm definitely still clear of it. Um, it gave me gas before the surgery, so I just kind of steer clear of it. Um, unless it's decaf. But anyway, dandelion is literally like those yellow flowers that you see the weed. But apparently when you, the pure weed, dandelion is a really, really good natural diuretic. And it helps with um, normalizing fluids in your body and stuff. So I'm going to be adding that to my regimen. Um, what else did I find? Sorry, I can't remember, but I don't want this video to be too long. It's supposed to be short. So anyway, but yeah, that's something I'm going to be adding. Um, I might add some kelp seaweed because there's natural iodine in that for thyroid issues, but we'll see. I don't want to add too, too much. So anyway, that's where I'm at, guys. That's what I'm doing. I'm about to go in the store. I don't want to waste too much time. But anyway, I really hope everybody's doing really well, and I will be coming back at you with another update, I promise, okay? Um, and when I get to my three-month mark, so wait four more weeks. I know a lot of people have been asking for pictures, but I'm going to show you pictures that I've been taking, like, every couple weeks body pictures like in the gym when I'm in the shower and I put my clothes back on I've been taking pictures to kind of show you like hey this was last month or this was two weeks ago look at me and um it was encouraging because I could see the change in myself so but that's my small victory right now 30 pounds down and pretty soon hopefully I'll be like guys I'm 50 7500 you know <laughs> we'll see bye